This week, with a measured quantum volume of 512, Honeywell's system model H1 became the highest performing quantum computing system in the world in terms of measured performance. The company has set several previous quantum volume records. In June 2020, Honeywell announced its first quantum computer, the Model Home Machine, that had a record quantum volume of 64. The next was in September 2020 with Honeywell's announcement of a new H1 model that doubled its quantum volume from 64 to a new record high of 128. What is quantum volume? IBM developed quantum volume in 2017 as a hardware agnostic method to measure gate-based quantum computers' performance and assist in the ongoing development of quantum computers. Quantum volume is one of several quantum benchmarking protocols. Choosing a protocol depends on if you are interested in benchmarking all or part of a quantum computer. There are protocols for testing low-level quantum devices for fabrication or for testing subsystems like randomized benchmarking or holistic protocols like quantum volume. A holistic protocol measures a quantum system's overall performance. The power of a quantum computer cannot be increased by adding qubits alone. Its performance is affected by the overall interaction of such things as the number of qubits, connectivity of qubits, gate fidelity, crosstalk, circuit compiler efficiency, and other features that affect a quantum computer. Quantum volume considers all those factors. Determining quantum volume is a complex operation involving probability and running a specific quantum circuit protocol. Simplistically, certain quantum circuits must be optimized, then run numerous times to determine if a high percentage of the outcomes are above a specified level. In Honeywell's case, it ran 300 circuits 20 times apiece to determine that the Model H1 had a quantum volume of 512. While the process is complex, one of QV's benefits is interpreting the final raw quantum volume number as simple, the larger the QV, the more powerful the machine. More information about the new 512 quantum volume test results is on Honeywell's website. About the Honeywell Model H1 many technologies are used for quantum qubits. The Honeywell Model H1 uses ytterbium ions for computations and barium ions for cooling. It pioneered the use of QCCD, an advanced trapped ion architecture that allows for arbitrary movement of ions and parallel gate operations across multiple zones. According to Tony Utley, president of Honeywell Quantum Solutions, QCCD is an architecture robust enough to support future generations of Honeywell quantum processors. It is also important that QCCD can also support future operations necessary to implement quantum error correction. Error correction is critical to the future of all quantum computing systems. The Model H1 with 10 fully connected qubits has demonstrated high fidelity operations, low crosstalk, and it features mid-circuit measurements and conditional feedback. 